I was sleeping without any lucid dreaming and I was not using music to control my dreams. I later was awoken from my slumber to see. There was fairies and elves looking up at me and it took me a few seconds to understand what they was saying because I was distracted by how adorable they looked. The little fays was unable to enter their home. They had to go to a display of a fairy fountain that acts as a portal to their world and this guy who I for a second assume was Albedo from Genshin Impact due to his hair, was shooting dark orbs at them when they tried to go home and needed my help. Since my vision was jumping from overhead to first person to free view mode, I realized I had my halo star over my head and I was dressed like an angelic princess. Then he was expecting you to be. Look like I have to step up my game. As the dark fairy warlock laughed at me and taunted how the fairies have no home and made fun of their crying faces. I was feeling so guilty because they looked like little dolls and made me want to hug them and seeing them sad and hearing their cries and knowing I failed to do what I was summoned out of the dream for, was killing me. I wanted to get them home, I wanted to destroy that dark fairy warlock and return to the dream. They did not deserve having their home destroyed and mocked by this little dark demon. I was knocked down to the ground and shot in the back over and over as the little warlock said things like, no more fairies, no more love and light. It's all darkness from here and you can't save them, give up, it's pointless to struggle. I was unable to summon my astral device or dolly so I had to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> Barinik has scratch on me. You can't stop me and you will never save the fairy. He think he should make this harder for you. Never ending life. Now this world will never have life. The fairies are dead. Their world is gone. No more love and friendship power. Back in the darkness. <laughs> starting to become too aware, and we can't have that. Say goodbye to the little fairies. It's time for you to return to the dream. I was stuck in a dark void forced to watch a lot of dreams play out in real time and all I can do is watch and see and think but not control myself or go anywhere. I was sulking about how I let everyone down after being called for help and even with the power to control myself, I was still helpless in the end and stuck in darkness yet again. After things went black I woke up watching a pop idol team wearing cosmic costumes. They had yellow skin as if I was watching, The Simpsons, and the crowd of people was waiting to get on the transportation platform to warp to their stage in space and while I could not see myself. My view was jumping from location to location. The pop idols was now skating around a grumpy cookie as they started to sing about cookies and my view would go from looking at their faces as they sing like I was watching a music video to seeing them stage and setting. I could see a large light blue planet and the more I watched the singers and started to sing with them, they went from cartoony to realistic. While looking around I found my dream body. My dream body was cosplaying as clay but had the lucid dreamer effects on but was too into the song and dreamed to even notice this was a dream and was just having a good time. Since I have pointy ears in the dream world, it makes sense to use them for a clay cosplay. The moment I connected to my dream body and started to freely think. The nightmares began once again. The moment the front woman of the pop idols pointed her finger at me.
All sound died and everyone was also around me pointing at me. Their power had me scared. I made my dream body run away while looking around to see if another Dark Lord was going to show up and cut me in half. My dream body ran to the large angel-looking maiden and hugged her and was about to ask for help and what did she do wrong and why did they turn off the music. She took her hand and... It would be days before I can animate these annoying nightmares and they stayed fresh on my mind along with a small log to keep it fresh so I can animate it the way I needed it to be. Those little fair folks did not deserve what they had happened to them and the fact I woke up at the same time the angel's hand landed on my head and my alarm went off at once and those idols was able to remove all music and sound. There are forces at play and I think my lucid dreaming is leading me to a point of power even the forces on the other side will not let me reach. Something is going on and I will figure it out. <laughs>